welcome again to this exciting course in this course we are learning the c sharp programming language completely from scratch in few previous videos we have covered almost everything about the built in data types but there is no use of those data types if you will not perform any kind of operation on them and to perform some kind of operations you need to learn about the operators if i talk about some basic operations for example i want to calculate the area of a circle then to find out that area we need to perform some operations and that operation is possible by using the data types and the operators we have already covered the data types and now it is time to learn about the operators if i talk about the operators there are different categories in this video i'm going to talk about the arithmetic operators and these are the most common one the arithmetic operators are again divided into two categories first is the unary operator second is the binary operator in the unary operator we have increment decrement plus and minus on the other hand side if i talk about the binary then we have multiplication we have division we have remainder we have addition and we also have the subtraction let's understand all these points one by one in this video so first i'm going to start the learning by using the unary operator and in this unary operator i want to start the learning by using the increment this increment is an operator and it is represented by using this plus plus symbol remember at this place we have to use this plus symbol two times all the operators that we are learning in this video we can perform the operations only on the numeric types so for example if i'm having one integer type first number and its value is 10 if i want to increase the value of this first number by 1 then i can simply use this plus plus operator how if i'm writing over here f number and use this plus plus that's it the value has been increased by 1 now let's just display all these things on this console load right line here i'm going to use this console load right line like this again let's just copy the value and just paste it over here like this and let's just run this application what we have over here first we are having this 10 and then at the last we are having the 11 why because we have used this plus plus operator and the value is 11 at this time now what will happen if i want to add one more value to this so i can simply use this line one more time and this time you will notice that over here in the output window we will get 12 let's run it see we are having 10 and we are having the 12 now let's understand the very important concept about this increment value from this program i'm gonna just remove both of them and i simply want to use the plus plus over here so what i want first i want to display the value of this f number then in the next line i'm gonna use this plus plus and also in the next line i'm simply using this f number let's run this application and let's see what is the interesting output so at this place you can see we are having something really very interesting what is the interesting thing from this first line we are having the output 10 from the second line we are still having the output 10 and from the third line we are having the output 11 now just focus on this concept here we are using this plus plus at the end side it means we are using it as a post fix and if you are using this increment or decrement as the post fix then first the value of that particular variable will be used and then the increment or decrement will happen it means over here the value of this f number has been used and after being used its value has been increased it means after displaying on the console window its value has been increased by one and that is the reason that over here in this third line we are having the incremented value right let's understand this concept one more time so in the first line we are having just the f number which is 10 we are having this value at this place in the second line we are simply increasing this value by one but remember if you are using this post fix symbol like this then first the value will be used whatever operation you are having that value will be used and then the increment will take place and that is the reason that first the value was used on this console line and then the value was increased and this is the reason that in the third line we are having this 11 i hope the concept is clear we can also use this plus plus symbol in the beginning it means the prefix so for example if i'm having it over here plus plus like this and let's remove it from the post fix side let's run this application this time this time you can notice we have again some very interesting output so what is the difference we are having this 10 we are having directly 11 in the previous concept we were having the previous value and then the value was getting changed but if you are using this increment or decrement operator in the beginning it means as a prefix then first the increment or decrement will happen 
and then the value will be used it means in the second line first there is a change in this f number variable by one and because we are using this plus plus symbol it means we are adding one and because of the prefix first the value will be increased to one so the value is 11 and now we are using this value that is why on the console window we are having this 11 output what will happen if i'm using one more plus plus over here and run this application again let's close this window and run it again you can notice we are having 10 11 and 12. you can also use the built-in terminal to open the built-in terminal over here you can click on this view and click on this terminal right and over here you can simply write your command what is the command to run any dotnet program we can simply type dotnet and then the run just hit the enter button we have to go inside the directory over here and at this place i can write again the same command which is this dotnet run let's run it and you can also notice the output over here we are having this 10 11 12 let's clean it and simply run it again you can see this is the output 10 11 and 12 right we can mix both of them also over here so what i'm doing is i'm using this f number plus plus so first i'm using this plus plus as a postfix and then i'm using them as a prefix let's run this application again and let's see what is the output this time this time you can notice the output is very interesting first we are having this 10 so in the first line we are having 10 in the second line we are having 12 directly we are having the increment of 2 why there is the increment of 2 the increment is happening because we are using the plus plus over here as a postfix it means first the value will be used and that is why we are having this 10 output on this console window now after using the value on 10 in the same line the value will be increased to 11 right so after this line the value of f number is 11 now in the second line we are using the prefix and the current value is 11 and in the prefix first the increment or decrement will happen and then the value will be used so current value is 11 so at this point first the increment will take place it means in the 11 if you are adding 1 then it will be 11 plus 1 equals to 12 and that is why we are having 12 over here similarly in the next line we are again using this plus plus symbol and because we are adding 1 to the 12 that is why we are having this 13 over here this concept is called as increment in the Caesar operators let's talk about the decrement over here to use this decrement we can use the minus minus two times and the concept is still same in the increment operator we were increasing the value by one but if you are using the minus minus then we will decrease the value by one and it is not necessary to use this integer value over here you can also use some other thing for example this decimal or double if you are using the decimal over here let's say it is 10.12 and let's just run this application again by using this terminal window what is the output the output is 10.12 12.12 and 13.12 so you can use this increment operator on any numeric type let's talk about this decrement so over here first i'm going to use this minus minus first i'm going to talk about this postfix and then i'll talk about the prefix so here i'm using this minus minus right let's run this application and this time i'm going to use this external terminal so what i'm having is i'm having this 10.12 10.12 and 9.12 if you are watching the video very carefully then at this point you must understand why we are getting this kind of output let me tell you one more time we are getting this output because the default value of this f number variable is 10.12 right now in this line we are simply just displaying this value on this console screen and that is why we are having this 10.12 now again we are using this same variable and we are using the decrement operator remember this time we are using the decrement and to use the decrement we have to use this minus symbol two times and we are using it as a postfix and if you are using the unary operator as the postfix it means first the value will be used and then the decrement or increment will happen so it means over here in this second right line method first the value will be used what is the current value the current value is still 10.12 so this value will be displayed on the output screen and then the decrement will happen after the execution of this line the value will be decreased by one so it means when the execution will come in the next line then the current value at this line is 9.12 right and we are simply displaying that value over here on this console screen that is why we are getting this output if i try this concept by using this integer right and run it again 
then you will get we are getting this 10 10 9 we can also mix both of them over here so it means if i'm using this plus plus over here and we are using the minus minus over here let's see what is the output we are having the 10 we are having the 11 and we are having the 10 basically these are kind of operations that will be asked in the interview questions let's see why we are getting this output so we are having this f number and in this line we are using the post fix so the value will be increased after using it first we are using it which is 10 and now it has been increased to 11 now in the next line we are having the 11 first the value will be used so the f number is 11 the value is used which is 11 and now it will be decreased by 1 so in the next line we will get 11 minus 1 which is 10 so the current value of this f number in this line is 10 and we are displaying it as it is which is here on this output screen right this value will be changed if I'm using the plus plus over here so you can basically perform all the combinations over here and you can basically play with this operator now let's talk about our third operator the third operator is plus to use the plus we have to simply use this plus symbol and let me just remove all these things and we can use this plus symbol on all the numeric types although we can use it on the string but the concept in that case will be different to use this plus we have to use this plus symbol and this plus is used in both the categories which is unary and also the binary so if i talk about this plus in the unary category then we call it a plus let's say we are having this console dot right line and in this console dot right line i want to display plus four do you remember the concept from math where we used to have something like this let's say in the bracket i'm having this minus four and outside i'm having this plus so we used to have it like plus minus 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 plus minus 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 plus and plus 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 right so that was the concept basically plus plus was equals to plus i'm using the comment symbols over here if i'm having this minus minus it was also equal to plus if i was if i was having plus minus then this was minus and if i'm having this minus plus this was equal to again minus so basically these were the four concepts and we are using this plus symbol just to denote this one right we can also find out the addition of two numbers or three numbers by using this plus operator but in that case we will treat it as the binary operator but here we are talking about the unary one so basically do not get confused in this one i'm talking about this concept over here right so this is plus four if i want to put it over here in one more parenthesis like this and in the outside if i'm using the minus let's run this application and let's see what is the output the output this time you can notice we are having this minus four so basically all the mathematical that you have already covered in your previous classes this is the same concept again if you are having one minus over here so this minus minus is equals to plus in the same manner we will get the plus four over here see we are getting the plus four over here right we are having again one more concept which is minus and i have already covered that concept over here so this is the same unary operator that we have over here that is all in this unary operator in the next video we will talk about the binary operators thank you for watching have a great day Thank you.